Welcome back to Baking with Caitlin and Kara. Just kidding, it's our first time. Today we'll be making soft and homemade pretzels. One thing about us, we love BYU. <laughs> and our favorite color is pink. <laughs> Enough, Enough about, about us, let's get to the pretzels. <laughs> First thing you'll need for the soft pretzels is one tablespoon or one packet of yeast. Second thing you'll need is one quarter cup of brown sugar. The third thing you'll need is one and one fourth cup of water. Warm water. You want the water warm like a baby's bath. And then we mix. Keep on mixing until the yeast clumps are out. We will need three cups of flour. To make exact, we use a butter knife to cut off the top. And then mix between each cup so it, do it doesn't get hard to mix at the end. Cup number two. And mix. Last cup. After cup number three, the dough gets really hard to mix, so we need we need the dough, but make sure to wash your hands first. <laughs> if it's still too sticky, add about a teaspoon more at a time. Or flour. A flour. <laughs> For a medium-sized bowl with canola oil. Or cooking spray. Once you're done kneading the dough, it should be tacky to the touch, but not sticky so it sticks to your hand. You'll want to put it in the medium-sized bowl you just sprayed with cooking spray and cover with a towel. Let the dough rise for 20 minutes. 15 minutes left in the timer, preheat the oven to 500. Once your dough is done rising, um, form all the dough into little dough balls about the size of a golf ball and put them on a pan. Roll the dough into go roll the roll the dough into go ball size balls. balls. We have a mat on our pan, but if you don't have that, grease your pan with cooking spray. First you're gonna want to roll the dough balls into a long snake. Next, you cross the tops. Next, cross it again. And fold over and pinch to close. And there you have a pretzel shape. Do that to all your dough balls until you have none left. This is the size of our pretzels. Fill a liquid measuring cup to one and one half cups of water and put in the microwave for two minutes. While the water's in the microwave, fill up a one-fourth cup with baking soda. Next, pour the baking soda in the liquid measuring cup. So pour it slowly because there will be because it will bubble. And now we serve. Next, you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna dip the pretzels into the baking soda water uh -huh. and put them back Why -why? on the pan. Put the pan into the oven. Be careful, it's hot. Now, set the timer for six minutes. They're baking in there. When there's two minutes left in the timer, put butter in the microwave for 30 seconds. If your butter's not melted all the way, put it in for another 30 seconds. Don't forget to stir or else it will bubble. Don't forget to stir or else it will pop and make your microwave dirty. Pretzels are done! When they come out of the oven, butter the pretzels. <laughs> Once you're done buttering your pretzels, salt and coat them with salt. Now that our pretzels are done, we put them on a plate to let them cool. Mmm, pretzels. These are good. Mm-hmm. 
To find the original recipe, click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching Baking with Caitlin and Kara. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye! What do you think? The right amount of crisp on the bottom, perfect saltiness on top. The butter is just. Just need a good cheese sauce. Mmm, <laughs> these pretzels are so good. They're perfect every single time. Like, I swear, it's a no fail recipe. These girls always get it right. Hold on. What do you think? Yeah, they're good.